I got a new car. So this is my brand new Tesla Model 3. This is uh, the new, the new kind. You see how it looks different and stuff? That's because it's new. But yeah, I thought I would tell you like the reason why I got this thing. It's kind of a weird story. As well as show you some of the stupidest features I've ever seen in a car ever, but kind of glad they exist. This is not a car review channel, but the re number one reason why I got a new one is because they changed how it looks, dude, and I really like it. They got like these new headlights and stuff, and there's like a new body and everything. And it has a brand new uh, red color that they just released. But that's not the reason why I got it. I'll tell you the reason why I got it. So a lot of you guys already know this, but I've had a Tesla since 2019. I had a white Model 3 before. Uh, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I'm not really a car guy, like I really don't know much about cars, but I have had cars that have a ton of issues, uh, which I'm not a fan of. Obviously, I don't think anyone is. The 2019 Model 3 that I had for five years literally did not have one issue on it other than replace the tires. It was the, it's the best car I've ever owned. I'm not like a, a, a Tesla fanatic or anything. It was just simply the best car I've ever owned. And uh, this new body, came out. I saw a Marques Brownlee video. I was like, oh, look at that. Yeah, I got pretty, I got pretty hyped on it, but uh, I wasn't going to order it until I got a nice little text message from Tesla. This text message said, hey, we noticed that you have full self-driving on your current Tesla, which was true. We bought full self-driving when it came out. They said, if you order a new Tesla and it delivers by March 31st, we'll transfer your full self-driving for free. That's a big deal to me because I originally got full self-driving for like a fraction of the cost now. Now it's like $12,000. So I was like, dang, okay, now's the time to order. So guess what I did in three days? I ordered a new car. And the estimated delivery date said April to May. And I was like, well, wait, I just got the text three days ago. It's not my fault if the, if the car doesn't deliver by then. Will I still get full self-driving? So I called it, I called Tesla and I talked to them and get, you know what they said? They're like, no. So yeah, basically I could not get the free thing that they just offered me because they couldn't deliver it in time even though they just sent that offered to me. Pretty stupid. Long story short, uh, I already ordered the car and I ended up arguing <laughs> with like nine Tesla employees on if I could get it for free. And finally, one of them was like, let me escalate this. Long story short, we got it. We got it for free, baby. So yeah, that's actually why I ordered the car. I was already thinking about doing it and then I got an offer uh, by them and that's why I got it, okay? Why did I say that like you're judging me? Maybe you are. Well, now you're really about to judge me because I'm gonna show off some of these features. Look at this. So the number one feature that I, is just so needed, it's so important, you can replace the horn sound with a fart. Not kidding. Also, my immediate reaction when I saw that was, shouldn't that be illegal? Turns out uh, it will only make the fart, <laughs> it'll only make the fart noise if you're parked. But if you're moving and you honk, it will actually make a honk noise followed by a fart. So imagine you're about to get in a car accident and the last thing you hear before you crash is a honk, fart, and then crash. Oh, Corbin's here. Hang on. He doesn't know about this. Hey, dude. How you doing? Hello. What was that? Did Did you install a fart horn? So that's cool. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. How, how you doing, dude? Well, I was doing better before I realized your car just had a whoopee cushion at all times. <laughs> to answer your question, Corbin, no, I did not install a fart noise. It just comes with one. Okay, that's good. I'm glad okay. you're not doing work on the car. I don't know how to work. No, this is the thing that I was just talking about, though. So you can replace the horn sound with a fart. Do you know how potentially dangerous that is? But depending on what your options are, uh, it's terrifying. Yeah. But what I learned is that it actually, it, I just told YouTube this, it honks and then farts. Okay. Which is still a stupid thing to hear right before getting in a car accident. So honking and then accidentally ripping one? Yeah. Okay. I mean... That would not be fun. It wouldn't be, but the well, guy that you hit would be like, did he? Did he just fart? Did he fart? I think he just farted. So in case you guys were wondering, if you're about to get hit by a new Model 3, this is potentially what it sounds like. And then you get hit. It's not, it's not a pleasant thing. <laughs> ran over by a car. <laughs> you know how weird like the police report would be? It's like, dude, all I remember is a fart noise. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he passed a lot of gas and then I hurt really bad. There's also lock sound, which is what uh, Catherine kept pranking me with. So the other day I went to the gym and I got out of the car, said hey to someone I haven't seen in months, 
And then as I walked away, you just hear a <laughs> And the person looked at me like I was insane. And I didn't even know this was an option yet. It was like day two of having the car. The person was looking at me like I was absolutely insane. And I didn't know what to do. So I just walked inside the gym. It's fine. You make a good first impression for the In months, time. dude. In months. There's also a bunch of different uh, sound effects you can choose for the horn. A coin toss? What? Like toss a coin to your witcher? Oh, dude. <laughs> I, can't I don't know how you predicted that, but that I, was the coolest thing I ever. I 100% thought that was just gonna be like a Mario. Yeah, ding, I thought it was gonna be like bling. But then it's like, toss a coin to your Witcher. Dude, that was amazing. Oh, that's awesome. There's a quack noise if you lock your car. Hang on, I gotta hear this. I'm returning this. There's a bunch of stupid things. Ta da. We're not going through all these. You wanna do romance mode? I would love to do romance. Ooh, can we get cozy? I'm it turned on the heat. I'm so cozy. I'm getting a little too cozy right now. All right, I'm well. I'm sweating cozy. Did it actually turn on the heat? I think it did, yeah. The heat's turning on, dude. <laughs> it's like 90 degrees yeah, outside. We're gonna just die of heat stroke it's inside terrible. of your Tesla. It'd be really cool if it leaned the seats back too. Would that be too much? <laughs> it'd get a little too romantic in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, romantic music is playing. Oh my god, can draw things. This is what Corbin, oh my gosh, should we, should we fart honk at the guy? He looks like he oh, would just be very confused. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to. I'm doing it. I'm doing He's going to do it. Absolutely. He did not hear. Oh, he did. He did turn and look. Oh, he did. He did. He turned and looked. As soon as I aimed the camera at Corbin, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Freaking, we got video games, dude. This feels like it's distracted driving. Do you like Fallout Shelter? Absolutely. We got it. I haven't played Fallout Shelter in like 10 years. Cuphead. <laughs> that does not seem like it would go well in the car. <laughs> I, I, you can't play while driving. That's a thing. You have to be So, quiet. like, the passenger can't even play yeah, it? No. Well, then what's the point of having the game in there? Yeah, look for right now. You want, we can play Cuphead. Okay. There's also a screen in the back now, so if you ever go on a road trip, you can, like, watch you, my specific YouTube videos. I want. I don't want to watch your stupid face while I'm on. Whoa! That's a long time to be just staring at Sam's face. There's also, you know, backup camera. I mean, these, you know, cars have backup cameras. I think standard. I think they have to have backup cameras yeah. now. I think legally. Yeah, I mean, backup cameras, every car has it. It's really not a big deal, but uh, yeah, pretty high quality. It looks pretty good. Dude, we can make it. We can make a beat. Oh, sick mixtape, brah. Okay, hang on. Are you ready to make a sick beat? I'm so sick. I hit the wrong button. Okay, it's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty sick. Thank you. Beat. I said that in the beginning this isn't a car review, and I mean, it's just the stupidest car review of all it's time. It's kind of turned into a car review. It is, yeah. It's more of a I'm application. I'm not going to talk about anything that people want to know, though. Sorry if you're trying to buy a Tesla and this is the video you stumbled across. What the heck is Mars, dude? Mars? Mars is a planet. Multiplanetary species? Dude, why is Elon so... Oh my gosh. Look, you're a little rover. You're a little rover. So what, if I drive, will that... Hang on. I'm if assuming. I, if I drive, will it start doing it? Our little rover's moving. Look how The cute. rover's turning. I don't know if the rover's really moving. No, it, it, it's... That's an accurate depiction on how large Mars is. Okay, so that's just the entire Mars. I, this is a good feature. <laughs> is it though? Yeah, it is. Okay? Fart noises and Mars is good. So yeah, that's my car. The farts.